Hi, my name is Emily Kaltenball. My POEs are in Multimedia Communication Design with Production and Historical Interpretation through Communication, and this is my IMA Senior Story. I chose Juniata College because I really liked the idea of individualizing a program. I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do. I had so many different interests and I liked the idea that I didn't have to choose just one or two but that I could combine three or four or as many as I wanted to. I would say what drew me into the IMA program was probably at first video classes. That's what I took the most of when I was a freshman and sophomore. I'd done some work with video things in the past, and so that was sort of my introduction into the courses, but I really discovered that I liked working with clients, and I liked being able to produce something that had an impact on the world, and that's something that has sort of drawn me in further into the IMA program as I've gone along. I think something really unique about the IMA program is how we get to work with clients, and how much of a you know, real world experience we get while we're in college. So I've had a lot of really great foundational courses in the all of the different departments that contribute to IMA and then IMA feels like a place where I apply all of the different things that I found in my other classes and so it feels like sort of the culmination of everything um, which I think really speaks to how interdisciplinary the program is. I would say that the IMA program pairs really well with the communications department because they're so interconnected. I am constantly using the ideas in communication and how you deliver a message and how you communicate that to an audience in the work that I'm doing in IMA and in the how do I help this client tell their story. It's really that sort of practical application in a slightly different form that makes it that having both just makes it that you can do so much more because you have such a broad understanding and they go really well together. When it comes to my favorite classes in IMA that's really hard to choose but one that really stands out is uh, one of the times I took practicum when I got to work on a self-publishing book project called An IMA Story. It was an internal project for the program and I got to sort of spearhead a lot of that project and do a lot of project management and proofing and contacting publishers and doing all of these things that I never would have imagined that I would have had the opportunity to do and being able to come away with that with a physical book that I contributed to was a really powerful experience and something that was really unique to what, the journey that I've created here in IMA. For my capstone project in IMA, I'm working on a guide that looks at nonprofit fundraising, especially in rural areas, and giving the tools that fundraisers have to nonprofits who don't necessarily have the money to have a full time fundraiser and who don't necessarily know where to start. Originally, I was going to work with a local nonprofit, but they are since shutting their doors because they don't have the funding, and so this guide is really inspired to help ensure that rural nonprofits that don't always have the opportunities that other nonprofits have, um, to ensure that they have a resource that they can use to be able to thrive, even if they don't have fundraising professionals on staff. Another project that I've been working on during my senior year that's been through practicum has been the EBT guidebook. That's the East Broadtop Railroad. Uh, so I've been doing both design work and project management for that project. And it's really cool to be able to do another book project in addition to an IMA story and to be able to design layouts and again, talk to publishers and work with a client. It's been really cool also to combine um, my history side of things, that's my other POE, and so being able to work on something that even though I'm not doing the research or the writing, still being sort of adjacent to that history side of things is also a really cool collaboration and experience. If I had any advice for any first year IMA students or any first year Juniata students, I would say to explore what you can. I came in exploratory and I didn't really know what I wanted to do but I had some ideas and some of those came true and some of those didn't. And I think taking the time to explore and discover what you enjoy. So if you're coming in IMA and you think you wanna do video production, do that and also do some other things. And in my experience, you can find that you have a whole host of things that you wanna do and that that's the best way to find exactly where you're supposed to be.